All right, this might be my favorite part of this entire weekend. These are not bears. They are not wolves next to us. These are gi gentle giants called Irish wolfhounds. They are the tallest breed of dog, as you can see, in the entire world. I mean, they're like small horses. These dogs are the foundation of many Irish legends, dating back to 33 AD. And we are joined by members of Coon Crack Irish Wolfhounds of Ohio. We have Carolyn, Kelly, and Jim. It is so great to have you all and to have these sweet giant yes. pups here with us. So, Carolyn, can you tell us how did they become so important to Irish culture? Well, these dogs were found nowhere in the world except in Ireland. So they were a source of great national pride. Wow. Uh, during uh, ancient times, they were only owned by the elite, by kings mm -hmm. and warriors. Oh, wow. Um, and then during the 1820s, when Ireland uh, wanted independence, yeah. they became a national symbol of Ireland and wow. a source of great pride for the Irish people. Oh my God, now, we were backstage. Cool. Remind me, who are these names and how old are they? Well, this is Connor, and he's just a puppy. He's a year and a half it's old. That's why he's acting so wacky. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's so big, and he's he a is puppy. a puppy. He's a horse. Like, <laughs> incredible. Kelly, tell us about this guy here. This is Mahone. He oh is God. four. Okay, how did you decide to adopt an Irish wolfhound? Um, we actually went to another festival, and they were there, and I'm like, I've got to. I've got to have I mean, one or five. <laughs> one or five. <laughs> <laughs> one or five. <laughs> and Carolyn, you have an interesting story about how you decided to get one as well, right? Well, my husband, he's all Irish, and he wanted one for a long time. I said, mm -hmm. that's crazy. That's We're not doing it. Well, then he started calling breeders, and I said, yeah, I guess we're, we're getting one. And then after we got our first dog, within a few months, we had another one because I liked him Aww. so much. And so this is one of the few instances where the wife was wrong and the <laughs> husband was right. So. We've had so much fun backstage because, I mean, they're big, but they're so gentle. They're so mm -hmm. sweet. Even the puppy. Yeah, he's rambunctious because the puppy. He's so <laughs> sweet. Is that true across all nature of these dogs? Yes. A lot of people uh, remark. They say, wow, your dogs are so calm. Yes. Are they mm -hmm. always like that? And I lie and I say it's years of training. But <laughs> actually, training. that's just their temperament. They're oh very, very gentle oh. dogs. It's so sweet. And also, people can actually learn about these dogs because they're having a workshop on the history, correct? Mm -hmm. Can you tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about the history? I know you talked about how they are a, yes. a source of, of pride in Ireland, but also they were used in war times, correct? Well, uh, as I said, warriors were allowed to have them, mm -hmm. kings. So if a warrior went into battle, he would take his dog with him, and they were very much feared by the enemy. Mm -hmm. But that was not their main job. Their biggest job was hunting. They would hunt deer and wild boar and wolves, and that's that's why they're called wolfhounds. Wow, that is just incredible. And you're going to be at the festival this weekend. Yes, yep. yep. perfect. Uh, we'll have about a dozen dogs there, different dogs each day. So some of the ones that are there Saturday uh, won't be there Sunday, but we'll have some different ones the next day. Fantastic. And we got the information right there on your screen on where and how you can see these adorable pups. Thank you all so much for coming. Thank